we are exploring. Today we are on the Arkansas River Trail in North Little Rock, Arkansas, and I'm going to show you the old quarry, which is pretty interesting to see because it's abandoned since the 1930s and there is lots of stuff left from this abandoned quarry to look at even almost a hundred years after it had been abandoned. The Arkansas River Trail is a network of trails on both sides of the Arkansas River here in the Little Rock area with 20 plus miles of trails along the river with some amazing views. The trail system starts in Little Rock at the William Clinton Presidential Library, Bill Clinton Presidential Library, and they go west from there. Here is a structure that I first thought is a wall, but this is a concrete structure that is part of the old quarry. All right, just to make sure, we're in North Little Rock, which is different from Little Rock, that's on the south side of the Arkansas River. This has been enhanced by artists with recreational themes, skateboarding and biking. But this structure here is more than a hundred years old and part of the old quarry here in North Little Rock. And that's strange. There are holes in here that are at about a 45 degree angle. I'm not sure if this structure had a roof or if those were chutes, but these look too small to be chutes for putting out rocks. I believe since there's a steep cliff behind it, that this wall was needed to protect this area here, which is now a trail, but back then was certainly a road, had certainly a road here, to protect this road from falling rock that they were mining. Here you get an idea of how long this wall is, and over there we're here at a boat ramp at the Arkansas River. And that boat ramp looks pretty old as well. So this may have been a boat ramp used to get workers here or equipment or parts for the quarry. There you see how steep and how tall that cliff is. We in North Little Rock call this Big Rock. In Little Rock, they have their Little Rock, and we in North Little Rock, which is my home base, we have the Big Rock. Just a couple of feet away from the end of the wall here, west of the wall, there is another structure that has been enhanced with graffiti, and there's a staircase. Let's go and check out what that staircase is gonna lead us to. Well, I don't see anything around here, but this quarry was abandoned in the 1930s, and whatever is not made of concrete may have been destroyed. Here's a look down, just let's just walk back down to the trail and go ahead and get closer to the quarry itself. I mentioned Big Rock. This old quarry at some point was called the Big Rock Quarry and they were harvesting sandstone here and tons of it, literally tons and tons. You're going to see that 
in a minute. Or, to be more correct, you're going to see that in part two of this two-part video. There's a little waterfall, a little creek, and there are some bars and concrete, so they made a ramp or bridge. Yes, there is so much to see here that I'm going to split this video into two parts, and you're watching part one. Wow, look how steep and tall this is. This is about 200 feet, and they were mining sandstone here at the Big Rock Quarry. These poles that you see are not part of the old quarry. These are modern, and this is pretty cool, because at the top of these poles they have installed pretty bright lights. So at night, this rock face here at the quarry is illuminated, and you can see this from Little Rock. There is an old, pretty, rusty chain that is very likely from equipment at the old quarry. Wow! Here you see more impressions of the rock face and how steep and how tall it is. And this has all been carved out over the decades, from the late 1800s until the 19. 30s. What do we have here? Let's have a look. I can't get too close to it because this is all pretty much overgrown. There's graffiti on it, but this looks like it is an old ramp that's going to meet one of these roads here. Let's walk a little up this road. There's a view of the mountain over there and over here is the trail that gets us to the ramp. We're getting close to the end of part one of this video and what's what else is to see here I'm gonna show you in part two. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it.